we're always looking for good themes here on Mad Money. And one of my favorites at the moment is the growing demand for cell phone towers, both here in the United States and maybe more important worldwide. I've always felt that these companies have a terrific business model. You put up a cell tower and then you can lease space for multiple wireless antennae, or the, or the arrays from various different carriers. Each additional antenna array is almost pure profit. Given how Verizon, ATT, T-Mobile, and Sprint are engaged in a four-way slugfest for market share, if you own these cell towers, you're basically an arms dealer in a seemingly endless battle for wireless subscribers. Which brings me to American Tower, AMT, the real estate investment trust that's the largest owner of cell towers on Earth. Over 444,000 of these. I recommended this whole group back in May after liking it for a long time, dubbed AMT Best of Breed, because there's so many positive catalysts here, including new wireless spectrum coming online in this country that will result in the need for more towers, not to mention the huge increase in data traffic, and the fact that developing countries like India, where AMT has a huge major presence, are building out their wireless infrastructure in a big way. In fact, I like the growth of international far more than the domestic. We've got to find out more. Now, American Tower reported a robust quarter at the end of July, raised full-year guidance to reflect the strength of their acquisition-fueled international business. But it's not just acquisitions. The company's organic tenant billing growth, it grew at a 12% clip in Latin America, 20% clip in Europe, the Middle East and Africa, and a solid 10% clip in Asia. Wow. And while American Tower has pulled back about three bucks from its all-time high, it's up 18% year to date. I think the stock can keep climbing. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Jim Takelet. He's the chairman and CEO of American Tower. Learn more about how his company's doing and where to set it. Mr. Takelet, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Jim. Have a seat. Great to be here, Jim. Now, Jim, every other time we've talked, we've talked a little bit about international, but we talked about the arms race and a lot of domestic. Domestic's still good, but when I read through your conference call and I go right to the technology that you're introducing in India, yes. it seems like that India could be one day Maybe your biggest market. Well, it is as far as the number of towers that we right. own in the country right now. We've got a terrific joint venture with Tata and some others in the right. country, a great partner. And we're the leading independent tower company in India, a country with 1.3 billion right. people, about four times as many as the U.S. So well, we think there's a lot of upside. What made me think of it is, you know, Tim Cook spent a lot of time there. Mm -hmm. They don't really have Apple retail stores. They're going to have, I mean, it's, you know, to me... Uh, Apple, iPhone 7, and more towers are synergistic. Yeah, they are. And, and the iPhone originally was the catalyst for the tower industry and for the mobile industry in the U.S. to really take off the way it did. And that was on third-generation technology. India mm -hmm. is still predominantly on second-generation technology. Eighty percent of the people in the country still on 2G there's a tremendous growth uh, trajectory, I think, in front of all of us there in the industry. Two other countries that came up in your excellent conference call that we don't think of as places you can make money, Brazil and Nigeria. Yeah. Now, how do you know you get paid? Because you once told our viewers that model, and I want people to know it so they don't put that question in their mind. Well, sure. First of all, our, our customers are multinational, right. multi-network uh, you know, operators. So they're all over the world. They're companies like Vodafone, AT&T, right. et cetera, and they are... You know, in many, many countries. So the payer is a really solid credit generally for us. Secondly, we bill up front before the month, just like most uh, leases happen. You know, if you lease an apartment, you pay up front and uh, you, 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 you do it that way. And so we're getting a really strong uh, uptick, not only in business, but reliable payments from these customers in these countries. Now, because of this, I want to emphasize you are a real estate investment trust. That changed you know, when we first saw each other. You were just a pure growth stock. Right. It looks like that you have, when I look at your balance sheet, the capacity for a lot of dividend boosts over time. Yes. In fact, since we started the uh, real estate investment trust structure, into the conversion, we've been growing the dividend over 20% a year, and we expect to continue to do that, Jim, for the next number of years. Wow, not many can say that. Now, I've got to ask about U.S. I mean, some people are worried about organic tenant growth. I, I, to me, uh, you put that to a lie. You didn't have, you're not allowed, you, you don't break down individual companies. But right. oh, look, we know that some of these companies need more towers. It's going to continue to be good in the U.S. Well, we think so. I mean, it's same store sales are about 6% for us in the U.S., which is robust as it is. There's some more spectrum coming online over the next couple of years. FirstNet will be launched in some form, we believe, in the next, again, couple of years. And data use is going up over 40% a year in the United States. And we're all using more and more every month, more videos, and everybody's going up to higher plans. And so with the new unlimiteds that are coming out, there's going to be even more demand on the network. Right, now, some people say, well, Jim, how do you distinguish American Tower from some of these other competitors that you like? There were two lines in your conference call I thought were interesting. You have um, there's intellectual ca capital that you have, and then you also have organizational capital, two points that kind of, kind of a little bit went over my head, but maybe you can explain a little further. Sure. Our IP or our intellectual capital is based on, how, on first of all, how to create 
very complex but very sort of mutually beneficial master lease agreements with these big ma national multinational operators. That's one thing we think we're very good at, where there's mutual benefits to both, very long term, uh, and you can set those up and use that intellectual property that you develop, say, in the United States, overseas. We can export our IP just like a manufacturing company okay. can. Secondly, we've got an organization that's been in place for you know, many of our people 15, 20 years just in this business. We've got really great retention rates in our employees and our managers. And again, they can be moved or signed temporarily to new countries and build and bring that intellectual capital. There's really no other organization in the world that's like this. We're on five continents, 13 countries all the largest free market democracies in the world. We've got teams. All right, last question. We've got to keep it short, unfortunately. Uh, you talked a little about being uh, inner, you know, more urban. I mean, typically I regard you guys as suburban rule, but you're, yeah. you're working with small, small cell ideas. Well, yes, we are, and we're the largest independent owner of indoor small cell right. systems. So these are in large hotels, casinos, stadiums, racetracks, places like that. And we want to expand that property set to ultimately apartments, uh, to office parks, office buildings, because indoor coverage is going to get even more hard to do and more critical. Totally So we're true. seeking that. All right. Okay, that's Jim Takeley, Chairman, President, and CEO of American Tower. It's been a big winner for us, and I think it's going to stay that way. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.